Coyote Kids Book Club. I'm Jeff from Jeff and Amy in the Morning, uh, reporting to you live. Just trying to, you know, look dapper for everybody watching right now. Make sure that uh, everybody knows that we're looking good. I feel like a um, like a I should be working for E News as a style reporter. Yet somehow I don't because this tie probably should never. I don't even think it's that straight. I uh, gotta say good morning to Larry. Ooh, good morning. Wow. Uh, lots of people on with us. Taylor, thank you for joining us from Cleveland, Ohio. Actually, Emily Rios, Ransom, appreciate it so much. Um, today we have a a very special book from the installment of If You Give a Mouse a You know, there's so many of these books. If you give a moose, how, uh, what what's another one in this book series? If you give a mouse a pancake. Give a pig a pancake, mouse a cookie, moose a waffle. Brownie. Brownie, moose a brownie. My girlfriend used to teach the first grade. That's where we get all these books from. Or at least that's where I get all my books from. Um, so she's sitting over there, but she's in quarantine mode. So uh, she can't go on camera or else uh, she'll never speak to me again. Um, so this one is If You Take a Mouse to the Movies. If You Take a Mouse to the Movies. That's pretty cool. Uh, we've got quite a few uh, live viewers. Sean is in with us. Megan, Jordan, Kimberly, of course. Thank you, guys. Cody. Hello, Jeff from Luna and Karina in Las Vegas, of course. Hi, guys. How's it going? Uh, thank you, Taylor, for the compliment on my bow tie. Appreciate that. Um, all right. Well, I say we get started. It's a little hot. And a little hot to be wearing all black in a suit, but you gotta look good. So, here we go. If you give... Nope, if you take a mouse to the movies. I'm so used to if you give a mouse a cookie, because that's one of my favorite books when I was a kid. But, um, yeah, this is by Laura Numeroff, and illustrated by Felicia Bond. They don't stop. They're probably writing a new one right now. Alright, here we go. It's If You Take a Mouse to the Movies. We rock and roll. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, it's winter out. We are not relating to that in Las Vegas. 95 degrees outside. If you take a mouse to the movies, look how cute this is. You can see the mouse is in his hood there. Adorable. Truly so cute. So if you take a mouse to the movies, he'll ask you for some popcorn. I mean, you really can't go to a movie theater without having popcorn. Amy and I were just talking about this the other day. She said they don't drink soda in their household unless they go to the movies. Soda and popcorn. Uh, and when you give him that popcorn, look how big that popcorn is compared to his head. He'll want to string it all together. Look at him putting it all together. Then he'll want to hang it on a Christmas tree. You'll have to buy him one first. And on the way home, he'll see a snowman in your neighbor's yard. He'll want to make one of his own. Then, he'll need a carrot for a nose. When he's all finished, he'll decide to build a fort, and he'll ask you to help him. Now first, look at... How cute a snowman is. The snowman looks like he's a mouse. He's a mouse snowman. So cute. Then he'll want to make some snowballs and have a snowball fight. Look at that fort. That's better than any fort I've made in the snow. I'm telling you. Hi, Stacy. Andrea. Thank you so much for um, being a part of Kyrie Kids Book Club. Never too old to listen to a book, of course. Playing outside will make him cold, though. He'll want to go inside and curl up on the couch. And he'll ask you for a blanket. Now look, this is very particular, but look on the lamp. He's sleeping there, but look on the lamp. His little outfit is hanging up. It's so cute. It's hanging up to dry. Adorable. He'll ask you for a blanket. And once he's nice and cozy, he'll want to listen to Christmas carols. And you'll have to find some on where? 
the radio. Oh, I love that. That makes me so happy. He'll probably sing along. The carols will remind him of his Christmas tree, so he'll want to go make some ornaments. You'll get him some paper and glue, and he'll ask you for glitter. Uh-oh. Glitter is a dangerous thing to bring around the house, I'm telling you. And when the ornaments are done, look at all the glitter. Oh my gosh, it's everywhere. He'll hang them all up. Then he'll stand back and look at the tree. He'll notice his popcorn string is missing. <gasps> That's where we all started. How is it missing? Where is it? Can you see it? So, he'll want to make another one. He'll ask you for some popcorn. And chances are, when you give him the popcorn, He'll want you to take him to the movies. That is so freaking cute. I love these stories. I mean, I grew up, if you give a mouse a cookie, it was one of my favorite stories as a kid. And during Nevada Reading Week, um, I picked that one to read. And so to see that they're still making great books with this little mouse and this little boy, it's adorable. It's so cute. Reminds me of Stuart Little. Well, uh, thank you all so much for being a part of Coyote Kids Book Club. Now, this is really important that I bring this up. Also, this suit is way too short. <laughs> I'm going to take this part off. Uh, it's getting a little warm in here. It's 90 degrees today. So, today is a very important day because it's two days away from Brett Young being live on Coyote Country. He's going to be performing live at 4 p.m. on the radio. And then again at 8 p.m. in case you miss it. So, Brett Young was supposed to be in town last night. So heartbreaking. At Red Rock. Uh, that was like one of three, my top three concerts of the year. That's keeping in mind that Garth is coming, Luke is coming, Luke Combs, Dan and Shay. I mean, the list goes on and on. But Brett Young, this Tuesday on Coyote Country, performing live from his house in quarantine. So you kind of still get a little piece of him. Um, as part of it. So, well, thank y'all so much for uh, listening this Tuesday, 4 o'clock, a superstar mini concert, part of our mini concert series. So uh, be sure to tune into 1027coyotecountry.com or 102.7 or on your, um, I would say her name, the uh, A L E X A, but then she'll talk to me and want to have a conversation. I can't deal with that right now. You can get uh, the Coyote Country mobile app on that girl over there. All right, guys, thank you so much. I'm going to go uh, change out of my suit, and I'll see you later.